with dad. to control my dog here. Gorgeous afternoon here. It is Monday, I think. Monday afternoon. And I've got the dogs out for the very first time on a proper walk. And I'd, I've forgotten what a challenge it is to uh, keep them in line. Problem is, and I knew this would happen, is when you're not looking after them as in creating every need for them then you've got to go back to the beginning a little bit so I'm having to be quite strict with the fuzzy collar with uh, Charlie because he tends to run off and do his own thing so anyhow it will all be fine again but anyway, this lovely landscape, it's Croxley Green Common, and it is just next to our boat, on the back of our boat. I can't see it from here, but uh, the canal is almost where that bridge is in the distance. Come here. Um, so we've got this gorgeous little stretch, and actually it's brilliant for me because I'm not meant to be doing too much exercise straight off so I'm trying to um, introduce it all slowly but uh, aren't we lucky and a beautiful afternoon as well Good girl. Good afternoon everybody. It is Saturday and we were going to move but we've decided we're going to stay where we are because we had new batteries put in a couple of days ago by our lovely chap Joe in Devizes who came all the way up to Rickmansworth to fit them and uh, we had an issue with the heating system last night so the ITR system that we've got on the boat is not working properly so it's giving us hot water but no heating and although it was quite chilly last night so I thought let's put the heating on just to see and uh, it uh, didn't work so we've spent most of the morning getting rid of rubbish and uh, sorting everything out and the next hop that we do on this canal is quite a big one because we have to go to uh, past Kings Langley and there is a note in the guidebook saying uh, the CRT prefer wide beams not to be moored here so we are going to wait here this week hopefully get the heating fixed and then we will do a big hop next weekend Fingers crossed the weather stays nice. These two are just brilliant at the moment. Very happy dogs. Charlie! And this little boy, obviously knows he's on camera, is really, really good with coming. I'm being very slow with my walking because since I've had the all clear from the 
doctor, I'm uh, trying to stick to reasonably easy paths. Went on a walk this morning up the woods and you've got all this beside you. And all this up the canal path and then the other side over there is a moor. So it's a lovely, lovely mooring. Plus the fact that we can park the cars and uh, Jamie can get off to work okay. Night, my love. Well, we're going to make a fire, but first, Charlie's never seen a fire before, so we're having a man cuddle, aren't we? Because <laughs> you're a little bit cold, aren't you? Because he's from Cyprus, and he's like myself, he's not got much fat. No. And we get cold, don't we, sunshine? So we're going to have a nice little fire to warm our tootsies, aren't we? Yes. Right, so Charlie and me are going to make a fire. to light the fire my, my love. flamethrower <laughs> it's actually a cook's flamethrower isn't it look at that woohoo this is the first fire of 2022 gonna let it roar like a lion who's higher than in his iron and what are you doing with the knobs love open them up to let them breathe so the air gets through. Yes. And how long do you leave that for, my sweet? Until it's nice and rosy red. Mm -hmm. And then... You'll add some coal. I'll add some coal. Let's see how we go from there. Mm. Feel the heat already. So September That's nights nice. are drawing in and it is quarter to seven and it's getting dark outside so i'm going to close the blinds bye bye coming up nicely do you know what do not judge but the temperature is actually saying 25 degrees but it feels a lot less so i don't quite know how that's working i can actually see the fire in the uh reflection in the tv my darling so Tell us about what's gone on this week. Right, first things first, I'm in Charlie's chair and uh, <laughs> he's on my chair, as you can see, because he should be here. So um, we've had a little bit, um, we've had some developments. We've had lithium LiPo4, uh, lithium phosphate batteries put in the boat. We've got a hybrid system, so we've got four 100 amp hours each LiPo4s. And we've got two of our resisting, oh, we've got two of our resisting um, AGM gel batteries, uh, lead acid batteries in as well. And that means we do not have to change any of our settings on, on charging. Um, and it appears to be working very well. There's no more, there is a bit more power, but obviously um, the lithiums mean that we can go down to 20% before we really have to charge. Whereas with the um, lead acid, you can only really go to 50% and you wouldn't dare do that. You, you would then charge them. So we were charging every day, sometimes twice a day, even though we have solars. So um, now we can go two days and the lithiums will charge um, within an hour, an hour and a half of being on the alternator with the engine started or within three to four hours if there's... <laughs> If there's if there's sunshine for solars to do their job, they zip up quite quickly. So are you pleased with them so far? Um, yeah, it's early to it's too early to. Sorry, Charlie. I know I'm in your chair, but you know what? I'm the human, and you're the oh, there okay, you go. the cream crackers. Um, it, yeah, I mean they're no, they're no more powerful, but it just means that they they can dip down a bit more, um, and also they don't change their constant volts so with our lead acid batteries after after one night 
uh, you could tell with the gulper and stuff that it was new, 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 new. it was struggling. Whereas with this, it's just, it's constant. So, yeah, we'll we'll see how they go. A lot of expense, but we'll see how they go. So that's the batteries. Um, now we a couple of nights ago for the first time we decided to heat the boat with our radiators and um it didn't work no so we've got a hurricane diesel heating system that's been superb um it works fine on heating the hot water um but it kept cycling when we put it on the thermostat to heat the boat and and nothing no pressure it, the, the, it wasn't flowing a call yesterday to the hurricane specialists who said there's nothing wrong with the system it could be the little mini electronic valve that technically when you set the thermostat and um, it fires up it opens a valve that allows the um, water to go around the rads to heat the system and I think we think that's the problem because um, I can hear in the engine bay the little blue valve system is constantly whirring so where it's been shut for most of the year obviously it's welded itself shut or got gunk Silted in there up. And mm. rusted up and uh so uh a new one's been ordered and we'll, we'll, we'll go in at some point next week so we have central heating so hence the reason we've put the fire on it's a little bit chilly and we thought we would uh keep ourselves warm why have we stayed here this week my love i'm a bit tired i've been in germany uh training with new products big important launch coming up so um i've been in germany i uh, just came back and um with a few things that need to be done to the boat we've got um access to vehicles very close by so and shops and shops and stuff and it's a nice place to stay with great walks around for the doggies mm. so we decided to stay an extra week um and move on next weekend suburban it's got everything we need lovely walks the dogs and it's been a pleasure so off we go to our next mooring which will be another 14 day mooring and then one more to our winter moorings which will be crt moorings at marsworth plants have to come down. Look at that. Crocs 
mostly green Rickman's worth. Beautiful autumn colours, tree on the right. lock number one of the day. to open the second gate and I'm then I'll pick him up. Lock number two. Gates were open for this one, we don't quite know why yet. There's much to go, it's a slow one. excitement that was a very dodgy lock and we're in the middle pound and you can see that the sides are very low so I'm hovering in the middle because Jamie's just gone up to the next lock to open that to give me some more leverage because at the moment we're on the bottom these are Cassio Berry Park locks for anyone's information
good when you've got little helpers. How marvellous. side cottages either side of us. Well we're at lock 69A, we've been going for six hours and I believe we've got about another couple of locks to do and then we moor up. So we're in Kings Langley now at Nash Mills Top Lock. And we've come through the first part of the town and although there was a mooring there we felt it was underneath trees with no solar so we are progressing along here. I think maybe one more lock and then the visitors moorings are ahead. Hopefully there'll be a nice place for doggies as well. Absley Marina on the right. It's definitely a bit blowy. Lock of the day, absolute bottom lock number 67 on the Grand Union. And we have had a day of it. And we are pretty much in the centre of King's Landing now. So we are now looking for mooring intently. husband's been a star. So we've made it to our moorings. It's not a place of choice, however, it's okay. So we're definitely going to have a rest now because we've been going since 9.30 this morning. It's all been a bit hectic, so we have arrived at King's Langley. Good morning everybody. We are at Kings Langley and I thought I'd do a quick recce for you as to where we are and our surroundings. The bridge behind me is the beginning of suburban place and then we've got this, albeit with a few houses scattered here and there. And I was thinking this might be a better place to moor but we have to consider things like overhanging trees and why nobody else has moored here. There's always reason. Could be that the pound's draining too quickly or whatever, or it's not close to a road. However, that bridge is the start of the road. So anyway, we're staying here for at least a week. We'll see how it goes. And uh, Jamie's just gone back to get the car. He's gone on his bike and I'm walking these who have been brilliant. Yesterday, very interestingly, Charlie was off lead completely and he's got it with the boat. He now knows that he, when he can get off, when he needs to get back, 
and all sorts. Elsa has always been brilliant, but Charlie is just beginning to get it. Update on the ankle. It's holding up well. Charlie. 